it says how many cubic units is a box that is three units high, three units wide, and two units deep. Okay, so first of all, just ask yourself, what exactly is this question looking for, right? So because they're looking for um, cubic units, right? What does cubic units mean, right? So how do we even know what they're asking for? Is it volume? Is it area, right? Based off of the units that they're giving, right? So because it's, it's um, what did they say again? cubic units yeah because they're saying it's cubic units that they're looking for so anything that is in black is given so they're saying units right and that's cube of that right therefore it has to come to you or it has to be your own intuition that they're actually looking for the volume right cubic units mean that's the unit for volume, right? If it's not specified, because this could be centimeters. It could be any unit. When it's cubed, that means you're looking for the volume, right? So if you're looking for the volume, they're saying it's a box, right? So a box would be a cube. I mean, not the cube over here, right? Cube just means it's raised to the power of three, but it's, it's a box, right? So we're assuming that it's a cube shaped. Okay, there. And... Okay, so it's a cube, and basically the question is saying we have three units high, three units wide, and two units deep. So that's the height. This is the width, right? Two units deep is basically the length, or yeah, this part. Two units deep. Okay, so as you can see, the three units high is basically this, right? So this is three. Three units wide would be this. And then two units deep would be this too, right? So if you remember, in order for you to find the volume of a cube, right? All you have to do is multiply length with times the height. Or side times side times the, the height, right? So in that case, all you have to do is multiply three times three times two right? That would be 3 times 3, so that's 9 times 2, that's 18. So this is 18 cubic units. Okay, great. That's it. I don't think that question was too bad, so... Yeah, 18 cubic units. Okay, so this question, it's asking how many edges does a cube have, right? And yeah, amazing. So they actually gave us a figure which we can use, right? So as you can see, if we have a cube, right? I, I think probably everyone knows what a cube is and how it looks like by now. So if you have a cube, right? Um, and if not, this is how a cube looks like, right? So if you have a cube, right? First of all, you have your vertex. So vertex is where two lines meet. Can you guys see this? This is basically what you call the corner um, of your cube. And then you have the face, which is, it's it's a plane, right? That's what a face is. And then you have an edge, right? As you can see, this is an edge. So if you look at this cube over here, they're asking how many edges um, does a cube have? So basically all you have to do is draw a cube on a sheet of paper and then you count, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So that means there's twelve edges in the cube. Simple as that. I don't think there should be a formula to this. Because um, if you know how to draw a cube, I think you should be able to tell just by looking at the figure. Because remember, the whole point in in math, right? Um, I mean, the way I see math is if you're able to remember the information without even trying to memorize as much as you can. I mean, there are some formulas that you need to memorize, but you want to reduce the amount of information that you can memorize, but you want to be able at the same time to just look at the figure and tell what are the edges, what are the vertex or vertices, and what are the faces, right? I think that way it's easier for you to remember this information until you graduate. So just reduce the amount of memorization if you can.